Creating checkpoint tests in KP. Here you will learn how to create a module test, how to create a chapter test. Uh, these, two, these two basic functions will allow you to create summative exams. And we'd like to make a special note that please do not put a test inside of a module. Okay, let's go ahead and go through the steps on how to create these two different versions of tests. So here I am in my account and I have my classes set up and I want to create some tests in my Culinary One freshman year master course. So I open that up and uh, the first thing I want to do is put a test here in the Introduction to Culinary Arts. So this is where I will locate the test. Um, note that if I click in here, I, I do have the ability to create a test here, but it creates confusion and I'll explain why later. So let's go back one level. All right, so to create a test here, I click on the Save Test button. Once I click on that, this will show me all the tests that are created here in this chapter. As you can see, there are no tests. So let's go ahead and add a test. I'm going to add two tests right now. One is going to be the module test, and the other one is going to be the chapter test. So the first one I'm going to create will be considered called history test. So, so this one will cover only the module for the history of culinary arts. The next one will be covering the entire chapter, so I'll call this one introduction test or intro test. Chapter test. Okay, so now that I have these two tests cr created, uh, let's go ahead and open up the item bank and start loading questions into it. So right now I opened up the item bank and it's showing me the four different modules I can select questions from. Um, since I'm only going to be doing this in the culinary history module, I'll expand this. But I do have the option to mix and match as much as I want. So here are the questions, and as you can see, they're tied directly to the page of contents. So you always know the context as to which the questions are coming from. And over here on the right, you'll notice that we have Bloom's taxonomy uh, that are labeled for each question. So I'm going through here, and let's create a five-question test. So I'm going to pick this one. Um, I like uh, Del Monaco. Yeah, I like that one. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Uh, let's see here. What else is there? Oh, and you'll see that we have a few essay questions. These are only here because uh, if you want to create a printed test, then you can include these essay questions as well. And a lot of people just copy and paste these questions and put them into their own documents. So let's go ahead and pick uh, this one and one more from the next section. So let's go down to the next one. Oh, this is it. So let's see. This one's a good one. Gordon Ramsay. All right, now that I've done selecting the questions I want, I come over here and I click Save. Now that this is done, I'm going to scroll all the way back up to the top and click on Done. Or you can print it, um, which is covered in a different training video. Now that I'm done with this, the test is set up and ready for the students to take the test. When you want them to take the test, you can turn it on. The next time they log in, they'll see the test and they can take it. And then you can turn it off and then they won't see it again uh, when they log on. So let's go ahead and create the chapter tests. So this one will be a little more involving because we're going to be mixing questions for multiple uh, modules. So here I have the current history, which has been previously left open. So I'm going to collapse it just to so show you that we could see the other four modules. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the history. And let's just do two questions per module. Normally, you probably would do 10 questions per module. But for the interest of time, I'm going to select these two. Now that I've selected these two, what I have to do is click on Save before I go into the next module. This is very important because it won't save across the module. So now that I've saved the questions from the first module, let's go to Trends. And here, let's pick two more. Let's see this one and this one. OK, I like those two. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Hit Save. Okay, now we've saved that. Let's go to the culinary industry and let's pick two questions here. I'll take these two. Those are two very good questions. And I click save. And then last, I'm going to go to careers 
and let's pick uh, these two questions. Okay, so in the end, I should have a eight question quiz. So here we go, scrolling to the top, we see the preview, and there we have eight. Okay, so now that we have that done, we click on done, and like I said before, when we're ready for them to take the test, we just open it up and then close it as necessary. But first, there's one more step that needs to be done before this is ready for the students. So I am going to go to the module. So I'm at the module level, and you'll see the tests have been placed at the very bottom of this list. But considering that the history test should be taken after the current history module is done, I am going to move that test to here and then save. That's very important because in the student view, as you have already read, students have next steps. So what next steps does is it tells them you need to work on culinary history. Once they've mastered it, then it's going to tell them you need to take a test. Once they finish that test, then they're going to move on down the line until they complete it and then they jump into the next chapter. So for any test you put in here, make sure you put it in the correct order of which you want the students to encounter them. Now we are done. You can go ahead and open the tests up. So let's go ahead and look at the save tests. Let's turn this on. And then the students are ready to go and take that test.